I'm Charlie Killmaster, state deer biologist for Georgia. I've got a braised venison and daikon radish for you. This comes from Japan where their native species of deer would be a sika deer. Here we're making it with whitetail, three quarters of a pound to a pound, cut into one inch cubes. This happens to be backstrap. Half a cup of sake, a quarter cup of mirin, three or four tablespoons of soy sauce, a one and a half pound daikon radish. These make great deer food plots. I've got a couple of shiitake mushrooms I'm gonna saute to go on the side. I've got some green onion for a garnish at the finish and I've got some dashi powder that I'm gonna make some dashi stock with. I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of that to four cups of water. Add a few tablespoons of olive oil into our pan. All right, now that we've got our pan good and hot, let's go ahead and get our meat going. All right, that looks pretty good and brown. Let's move it aside. We've got our daikon, we peeled it. And we wanna cut this in about one inch thick slices. Set that aside, we'll go ahead and slice up our green onion. And we're gonna slice up our shiitake. Now what we have here is a good wide cast iron dish. You can do basically any stove top or oven safe pan with a lid. And then we're gonna add our venison. Spread it around. Here I've got four cups of water that I microwaved for about four minutes. I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of handashi powder to it. You could use beef broth or chicken broth if you needed a substitute or fish sauce. A little bit of fish sauce might work as well. That's a little bit easier to find. We're gonna add our half a cup of sake, quarter cup of mirin, three or four tablespoons of soy sauce. Add this mixture and we're gonna bring it to a bowl over high heat. Let's reduce the heat cover and we're going to simmer this two and a half hours. The radishes won't absorb all the flavors and the meat won't be tender if you don't cook it that long. If you've got an oven safe you could always throw it in the oven if you don't want to tend to it and that's what we're looking for right there. Fully plated up, green onion sprinkled across the top and just look at this venison. One of the best meals you're ever going to eat. <laughs>